back with another video and it's on this bomb ass wig y'all see it it's given like red pink but i think a person is more pink than red i think the camera is picking it up on red but i decided to do like the skunk stripe pink dark roots on this wig so yeah y'all if y'all want to see how i got this color and these are bomb ass installed then just keep watching Okay, so this is what the wig looked like when I got it. Um, it was just a plain old 13 by 4 straight wig. I believe it's like a 1B color. Um, it was 22 inches and it was just regular. So I was like, I wanted to do something to this wig. And I just said, fuck it, we're going to dye it. So I've been wanting to use uh, a couple of these hair dyes that I have, which I will show you the brand and everything. But um, I haven't had a chance to do it. So I was like, oh, this wig is just all black. I might as well use it. So as you guys can see, I'm using the um, Bleach and Developer. I'm using 30 Volume Developer. The Bleach brand is clearly right there, y'all. Do not ask me because I buy a different brand every time. But I'm just using a little mixing bowl and I'm mixing all of that up until I get the right consistency that I want it. Now, my you, I haven't done nothing to this wig at all. So we're going to start off by parting it and like basically sectioning off exactly what I want to be our like skunk stripe or our front section, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so once I section that front part off, I'm going to tie the rest of it back just to get it out of our ways. Now, child, one thing I noticed was these little, like, flyaways inside the wig. I hate that because that means that those are called fillers. Like, they put them inside of our wigs to make it seem like our wig is thicker than what it actually is. And I don't like that. So, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it. Um, so I split it off into like a little section, two sections, okay? The one side I'm going to braid because we don't need that right now. And we're going to work on our front section. So this is where I'm going to start applying our bleach. Um, and I just applied it like normal all the way into the roots. This whole section is going to be bleached from root to tip. I mean, yeah, end to tip, whatever the fuck. Oh my God, root to end. Jesus Lord, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But anyway... Yeah, we're going to um, apply the bleach that way. And you want to make sure that you're parting and taking little itty bitty sections so you're coating the, the entire like strand of hair. You don't want no patchy like looking bleaches, okay? You want to get rid of that black completely and you want the bleach to penetrate the hair. Okay, so like I had mentioned, this part right here is going to be completely covered in pink. So I have to bleach all the way down to the end. So I'm taking aluminum foil and I just applied a little bit of bleach on the aluminum foil. And then, yeah, you guys can see I'm just literally like painting it on the hair. Once I get to the end, I do flip the hair up. But I do keep going in and checking and making sure that it's completely saturated. And there's bleach all over every strand, coating all the pieces of the hair, okay? Because you don't want no patchy bleach. Because you're going to have to do this again. Um, if you fuck up, you're going to have to do it again. And it's going to be uneven level tones of blonde. So just keep in mind that you're going to want to, you know, keep checking for the little pocket holes of black. Take 
Okay, so I did the same thing on the right side that I did to the left side. I took out that little section, braided it, and then just apply bleach on each section. So you should have two sections that are completely covered in bleach. Kind of like a big old square in the middle of the, of the head. And then here is where I'm doing just the roots. So I start by coating the, the root of the hair. And I am going to go a little bit down just in like a feather motion, which I'll show you guys in a minute. You see I'm feathering it out like slowly. Um, you don't want to like, it's kind of like almost like we're doing an ombre or a balayage. You don't want it to be um, like 100% like just a straight blunt like of bleach. But yeah, you want to make sure that you're like blending it out and blending it down. Um, this was a little bit sloppy and I'm going to tell y'all this right now. I don't give a fuck. I got two kids, okay, and they were both taking a nap. That is so rare, so I was on a time limit, all right? But if you take your time, I feel like, for me, I was just a little bit of rushing. But this is what it should look like. The two sections in the front are completely blonde, and then the sections on the side are what's, like, bleached rooted, okay? Okay, so like I said, this is what it looks like after I take the bleach off. I was dying to use this. This is called the Lunar Tides Hair Color. Super cute. Those are all the colors that they had. They sent me six colors. Like, I'm going to show you all a few of them. It's like a light blue. Um, they did give me like a purple, like dark purple kind of color. Um, another extremely dark blue. They gave me a light pink. And then they also gave me a yellow and a dark pink. It's like a neon yellow. Um, but yeah, like the dark pink. So, I'm going to tell you where I fucked up at, right? So, I tried to use this, right? And I believe it was called Pink Petal. And this is what it looked like. I knew I instantly fucked up. Because look at it. First of all, can we just talk about how good this hair coloring smells? Like, it does not smell like a chemical. It doesn't have, like, no harsh chemicals. It's cruelty-free. So, it smells super good. But I knew I fucked up because... I did not dye the, I did not bleach the hair high enough or light enough for me to do this extremely light pink. So I was like, damn, I hope it comes out. So this is just me applying the hair color, but eventually I had to go in with that other pink and I believe it was called Dragon Fruit, Neon Dragon Fruit. I believe it's called Neon Dragon Fruit. Um, I'll be sure to put that in the description below for you guys. So... Even though you see me doing this right now, I still had to do this again with the darker pink because this light pink did not show on the blonde. Okay? This is what I actually had to end up using. So it's the Lunar Tides, it's neon, yeah, neon dragon fruit. And that's what I did after the light pink. I applied it the same way that you see me applying that light pink. But this is the color that it gave us, okay? So it was way more vibrant. It kind of has like a reddish tone. That's why I didn't use it at first. Because when I seen it, I was like, oh, it's more on the red side. And I don't want red, I want pink. But I didn't bleach the, the wig like light enough to do that pink. So it didn't really show. But anyway, this wig is from Miss Lynn's Hair, and they gave me some goodies in this box that I was really surprised about. They actually gave me, like, an adjustable band, some lashes, um, you know, love, gotta love the headband. Oh, and not only that, they ended up giving me, like, this little cute, like, um, edge brush, which, like, it's like a triangle shape. Super cute. i never seen it. It was different. And they happened to give me, like, a little cute makeup on-the-go makeup bag. So I was like, oh, shit, this ain't bad. 
But yeah, y'all, this is what the inside of the wig looks like. I did go ahead and curl the cam curl the wig off camera. If you guys want a tutorial on how I curl my wigs or do the curls, my pin curls, comment below and I'll do a video on that. But I just did not have time. Like I said, I had two kids and it was just too much, okay? So I had to make do with what I made do. I'm measuring the wig onto my head now. Um, I did cut the lace off camera. You guys are always see me do that, but yeah, now it's time to actually apply the wig. Okay, so per usual, I'm going to use my Boho Active Lace Glue and I'm doing one whole right side um, and just making sure that it's nice and flat and it's a nice thin layer. I believe I did like two layers and then I applied the wig. So one thing I realized that I fucked up with this wig was that I did not cut it directly. Like it was still some lace that was left that I had to cut because I got a little tiny head and this wig was just a little bit too much lace for me so I had to cut a, go back in and cut a lot more but whatever I do to one side I am doing to the other making sure it's nice and flat and then I'm gonna lay that other side down Okay, so boom, I'm tying it down. I had to stop real quick. Look at my munchka. She's a breastfed baby, so she's super attached. She wants to eat every five seconds. But yeah, uh, I'm doing my birth and delivery vlog very soon, so stay in tune for that. But yeah, now we're going to take out our baby hairs or what's going to be our baby hairs. Child, I was doing this with one fucking hand because I was holding breastfeeding in the other. I don't want to hear no excuses, moms. We get it done and we do it regardless. Okay, so once I get the pieces that are going to be considered our baby hair, I'm just going to tie them down, wait a couple minutes, and then come back and actually do my baby hairs. Okay, so I'm cutting at an angle, and then I'm going to use this Nairobi, I believe that's what it's called, Nairobi wrapping foam loose, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna take that little cute brush that Miss Lynn, Miss, yeah, Miss Lynn Hair gave to us. And I like this, honestly, better than the, like, typical edge brush. I don't know. It's something about it. And then it has, like, a rubber tip on the other side. Like, I don't know. It does something for me. But, yeah, I'm gonna be forming my baby hairs like that. And this is pretty, like, basic. I do this the same on every video. Um, unless I'm going for like a dramatic look, this is basically what I do. It's a diagonal cut. I apply a little bit of foam or a mousse or whatever styling product you want to use. Take my brush and use my finger as a guide to start swooping. And this is what it looks like. This is the finished result. I think this hair project was super fun to do. A comment any below any other hair project you guys want to see me try. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'll have everything linked in the description below for you guys. But yeah, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next one.